toothpicks were just for picking teeth. How do you turn something like this into something like this? Coming up, we're going to meet a local artist and also take a closer look at a very unique Northwest Side Gallery. Coming up in just a couple of minutes. Guitars over to toothpicks. We've been talking about this all morning long. Joining me now is Wayne Cousy, who uh, I guess you could say you're the toothpick guy extraordinaire. How long have you been doing this? Uh, since fifth grade, okay. about 25 years. This is a model of the St. Mary? Uh, the Queen Mary. The Queen Mary. I knew it was something like that. How many toothpicks are we talking in this project? Right now it's 415,000 toothpicks and it's going up 415. I don't, I don't believe you. Can you count them? Uh, <laughs> no, if I, try. I, I do believe <laughs> you. But how many is it going to be all together when it's finished? Uh, I hope to be around a million toothpicks. Wow. You know, we do have a finished product of a much smaller scale, the Cutty Sark over here to our left. If Sylvia can pan over to that. It's amazing that this is what it looks like when it's finished because you don't think about that when you, um, when you actually see all the toothpicks raw like this. Yeah. Gosh. True. And you've been doing, you're not an engineer, you've just been doing this as a hobby since you were a young kid. Yes, pretty much the, the, the interior design here is a, is a concoction of my own device as I was putting it together since fifth grade. So I kind of developed a little uh, way of doing toothpick construction, structural engineering. And you actually do this in your spare time. <laughs> yeah, what little spare time I have, I build ships out of toothpicks. <laughs> and how long before you actually complete this, do you think? I think it's going to take two more years before I actually finally get it done. You, you were telling me that this is actually very sturdy. I'm almost afraid to touch it because I'd hate to be the one to destroy it on live television, but you say it's pretty, it's pretty sturdy. It'll hold up to a lot. Yes, if you put some uh, sheets of wood on here, you can stack a couple of bowling balls on top of yeah. it and nothing will happen. You know what, Wade, I want to get you to, to work on it a little bit and talk to us about how you actually put all this together. I mean, this is a very intricate design here. And this is all for support on the inside. That's right. Well, basically, I started out building a skeleton, and I go through, like, deck plans and blueprints of the actual ship. And what I do, like I said, I build a skeleton, and then I clad the outside of the skeleton here with toothpicks. So it's all toothpicks, except for maybe the rigging, which is made from household thread, yeah. and the portholes. Which now, you, you hope to sell this eventually. How much do you think something like this would go for? <laughs> well, if someone wants to buy it for a million, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the bidding starts now. All right. right. We do have a phone number that we can share with you if you have any more information, any questions, rather, if you want to get some information about uh, the gallery here. 2828 is what we're talking about, a wonderful gallery with all kinds of different artwork, not just toothpick work. Back to you guys in the studio. Hey, Lisa, how many years will he have spent working on this when it's finally finished? How many years will you have spent working on this when you're finally all done? I think a total of five. Okay, but it feels more like ten, doesn't it? Oh yeah, <laughs> twenty. <laughs> All right, there you go. You have the answer to see the five really years cool. and counting. That's cool. Hmm. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah. Wow. What do you think? The patience. <laughs> uh, no, really, the patience. I do a lot of that kind of stuff with the kids with popsicles, uh -huh. sticks, you know, but nothing like that. Do so. you try to sell it? I don't try to sell it. No. <laughs>